in the first two weeks of this course on Oriental Beliefs, we try to familiarize you with some of the gods, spirits, angels, and demons that people believe in or used to believe in in a variety of religions and cultures. We'll cover the ancient Near East, the Jewish, Christian, and Muslim tradition from late antiquity to the present day, as well as Buddhism and other religious systems in Asia. In this first week, we we'll focus on gods and spirits and intricate relations between the divine on the one hand and the world of nature and humankind on the other. We will be we'll looking at religions that are generally known as polytheistic, which means that they recognize multiple divine beings. We will start with the case of Japan. What is your image of Japanese lifestyle today? For example, in Tokyo, we can see skyscrapers, many people, and luxurious European-inspired shops, as in the Ginza Quarter. On the other hand, in Kyoto, the former Japanese capital, we encounter a very different universe. Traditional temples, shrines, beautiful landscapes with mountains and rivers. We can see that in Kyoto, the people's ancient lifestyle seems to have been very well preserved. The surprising and original phenomenon in this country is the mixture of modern and traditional objects in the same space and time. Should we call this chaos or harmony? Harmony is a very important notion in Japanese aesthetics. Or let us rather say Japanese people live in an exciting chaotic harmony or in a very harmonious chaos. This hybridity is quite interesting. For Japanese people, traditional buildings can be located just beside a Western-inspired monument or an ultra-original contemporary building. Nobody seems to protest against this architectural chaos, even though in the beginning people do show their surprise at seeing new architecture arrive in an old and traditional town. As time passes, all these newcomers be become accepted. Each element, each person, each animal, and each object has its place, its meanings, and its beauty. By the way, do you know what Japan's natural religion is? Buddhists arrived in Japan at the end of the 5th century CE. Confucianism, considered as a series of life disciplines, was developed during the Edo period. Christianity, although less common in Japan, also exists. Do you know any other religions believed in and practiced in this country? You should already have heard of Shinto, or Shintoism. Or you have at least encountered the word kami. This term kami means spirit, divinity, or simply God. In Shintoism, there is more than one God. Indeed, there are around 800 of them. Here again, we can observe that Japanese people have a surprising sense of balance and tolerance not only for choosing which religion to believe in, but also for accepting all diverse divinities celebrated by Shintoism. Although no one in Japan is obliged to adhere to Shintoism, it is considered to be Japan's authentic religion. It is indeed true that Japanese people continue to practice several customs of this religion without relating them to a specific spiritual commitment, such as salt as a purifying tool, a gate called tari in streets. These gates are regarded as the entrance to the sanctuary and various displays to welcome the god of the new year to one house and so on. New Year's Day, January 1st, is a very important moment for Japanese people because it marks the renewal of the cycle of the year. And the first sunlight of the year is important too because the sun is represented by a goddess called Amaterasu no Omikami. This goddess, who is the incarnation of the origins of all lives on earth, is regarded as 
one of the most important divinities in the Shinto religion. Beginning with a goddess of the sun, yes, in Shintoism, the sun is the female divinity. We can meet many other divinities celebrated in this religion. Do not be surprised by their number. We can say that for each element of nature, there is at least one divine spirit linked to it. How do the elements of nature inspire Japanese people's daily life? For instance, Oinari-san, a fox, is believed to be a God's messenger who brings people, wise and intelligent commercial skills. A dog is celebrated as a pr protector for mothers-to-be because it safely gives birth to many puppies itself. Tenjin-sama, sacred bull, is related to intelligence and success. This pretty frog, called kaeru, that means to return in Japanese, symbolizes a safe return trip home, and a crane, like a turtle, is considered as a symbol of long life. This pair of huge rocks in the sea is very famous. They are called meotoiwa, couple of the rocks, and are believed to be an incarnation of the couple of the god called Izanagi no Mikoto and the goddess called Izanami no Mikoto that gave birth to the more than 2,000 small islands that form Japan. By now, you will have understood. In Japan, as in other oriental civilizations, sea, land, thunder, wind, sun, moon, each element of nature is related to a divinity. In Japanese fairy tales, we can also find elements of nature personalized, such as snow or river. At the sanctuary of the Ise Grand Shrine in Mie Prefecture, Shinto divinities are celebrated starting with the goddess of the sun, the prince of the moon, and the goddess of wood offered to all gods. This big and famous sanctuary, which so many Shinto pilgrims pass by, is surrounded by wild nature. The sanctuary is in a deep holy wood and near a sacred, sacred river, and hundreds of ceremonies are held during the year. Every 20 years, these divinities move to new houses called Sengu, and the various ceremonies preparing for this move are held over a period of eight years before and after the move. In nature, Japanese people see various forms of figures to worship, such as the sea, the water, the tree, the ground, the wind. Why these divinizations of natural matters? A very simple and logical answer to this question is, Japanese people are forced all the time to deal with a variety of natural phenomena, which they therefore regard as an expression of the anger of nature or the anger of their ancestors. The anger of nature can be represented by typhoons, floods, earthquakes, tsunamis, droughts, cold weather or lack of sunlight. These natural disasters are dangerous, not only for Japanese people's quiet daily life, but also, and particularly, for rice cultivation conditions. As rice needs warm weather and water of adequate quality, if strong rain brings dirty water into a rice field, all the harvest of the year will inevitably be lost. The Japanese wisdom to live with and to live in nature comes from this. It is thanks to nature that Japanese people can have a happy and satisfying life. For them, nature is not something to control, nor to cultivate and educate, but human beings are rather tolerated by nature to produce whatever they need to live or to survive in harmonious spiritual and physical environments. This unit had given you a glimpse of Japanese people's most popular religion, Shintoism. Its original features lie in three points. Firstly, this is a nature-based belief. Secondly, there are more than 800 divinities to worship. And finally, this is an intelligent and calm way to live with nature. And the most important thing about this Japanese popular religion is that it's anchored in, anchored in Japanese lifestyle in an almost imperceptible way
but deeply and intensely in Japanese people's mind. I hope you have enjoyed this first unit of this course. Now let us cross the sea and look at some aspects of religious beliefs in China.